Hello everyone, I'm Jim Lea. I'm here to present our study entitled, Our Boat Was Always Full of Fishes, Changes in Wild Fish Consumption in the Laguna Lake, Luzon, Philippines. I'm going to talk about briefly from the introduction to conclusion and the further working steps we are developing. The environmental problems like the presence of invasive species, fish kills, algal blooms, pollution from surrounding areas, all contributing to the degradation of water quality, affecting the Laguna Lake fishery and other ecosystem services it, it is providing. And with its stressed ecological state, it is now considered as research priority area in the Philippines. And according to the major lake assessments in the country, Several gaps in the knowledge about the Laguna Lake, such as involving the encouragement of local communities in the protection of natural resources due to their vulnerability to these environmental changes. And given the fact that the local ecological knowledge among fishing communities could play a vital role in the sustainable management of the fishery resources, therefore addressing these gaps may contribute towards the sustainable management of the Laguna Lake. We focus our study to document the local ecological knowledge of fishermen of Laguna Lake starting from Mabato Asupre, how this diverse local ecological knowledge from fishermen, fishing communities based on their long-term perception contribute as a source of information to help us in the understanding of the complexity of changes presently affecting this aquatic ecosystem. Specifically, with these objectives, describing the changes in fish stocks from past to present, recording the uses, importance of fish, the study will serve as a source of information which may lead to the better understanding of the fishery in the region. Laguna Lake is the largest freshwater resource and serves as a source of water, food, and livelihood in the country to the local people, to the agricultural sector and other industries in the region and the whole country as a whole. It is located in the East Bay, the least developed area in the region, in the Philippines, with regards to climate variability, tropical cyclones, and monsoon surges. These all affect the fishing communities, and this allow them to be among the highly vulnerable communities in the region. The fieldwork was performed between September 2019 to December 2019. However, in March 2019, initially, the speaking with the several fisheries managers and community leaders, local collaborators, they are all informed about the goals and importance of the study. The, the fishers were intentionally chosen using the snowball method, and the data collection was performed with the help of the local collaborators. Here are the further steps we performed from processing of the data up to the identification of fish species with the help of Laguna Provincial Office of the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, Los Baños, Laguna, Philippines. Okay, according to the fishermen, in the past, 25 taxa of fish were commonly captured. However, now, only shrimp and 19 fish taxa because some fishes are now rarely captured. A uh, few of these species were important in the past and are now rarely captured, as shown in this slide, such as the Anabas testudineus, Duris margaritacea, and Elops hawaiensis. And this is the mental map created based on the knowledge of fishermen that the factors including fish overeating on LIA, low oxygen levels, especially in the summer season, uh, and while during the event of typhoon, the increase of nutrients coming from domestic agriculture and industries, and also too much water lilies from the other side of the lake, all contributing to the occurrence of fish kill events happening in the Laguna Lake. In the next slide, let us listen to some of the voices of the indigenous fishers and family members in the local community. Malaking bagay sa paggawain na kapag tayo, lalo pa sa kagat sa garaw, may kita kami na ng extra para sa aming ano, pagwayan. Tapos yung tungkol naman sa digman, mas okay kung magkakaroon ulit ng digman kasi maraming tigala na isda, magkakaroon ng pangit na ganun ulit. 
Nagdadami ulit sa isda. Sa ngayon kasi wala, kaya kumbaga sa ano eh. Ang isda, halos wala matirhan eh. Sa pagkakaroon ng liya, ang epekto lang sa amin, yung pagbaba ng presyo kasi ang isda, pag nangangay ng liya, nagkakaroon ng lasa. Ay, ano yung mga gurami, wala na ngayon eh. Tsaka yung tinikan, meron pa madalang na madalang brutlim, ano kasi napalitan na ng ibang ano eh. Ibang klase ng isda, mga ngayon, arroyo na. Pag nagbago presidente, bago din ang isda. Na dito pa yung dalag, narito pa yung biya. Kaya lang medyo maunti na nga din. Madalang na kasi kinakain naman siya ng night fish. Noong pong panahon 1970s, marami po isda dito sa amin. Ngayon po, itong, dumating na itong taong ito, nawala po yun. Pero yun po ang mga masasarap na isda. Talilong at saka po ayungin. Tungkol naman po doon sa water lily na pumatay ng maraming isda, yung po hindi namin siya katakalain, makarating dito na nagmula sa Rizal. Yung ano, yung dahil ng pagkamatay ng isda, ay yung pagiging sanhi din yung pagkakaroon ng bahong tubig, yung galing sa mga baha, yung pagbumabagyo, bumabaha yung mga ilog nang gagaling sa palayan, yung mga, na, mga nabubulok na damo, pumupunta sa dagat, yun ang nagiging sanhi ng bahong tubig, kaya namamatay ang mga isda at maalis sa mga walang mauli, mga baklad, o anong sa bahong isda, bahong tubig. To continue with the common uses of fish in the Laguna Lake, Philippines, they are mostly for commercial purposes and for personal consumption, while food preparation such as drying and also fish balls are among the least cited uses, and let's take a note of that. Uh, the knife fish was prepared as fish ball. And then the only female fisher demonstrated the new way of preparing sea catfish and tilapia for making for drying, making them boneless. This could become a way to diversify the livelihood of the fishermen to, to help improve the socioeconomic condition of the local community, such as Mabato Asupre Pangi Laguna, and could be used for sustainable food production. The janitor fish and uh, was used as fertilizer, while knife fish was also used for animal feed and fish feed. Then these new uses all deserve future attention. With this brief discussion, the local ecological knowledge of fishermen in Mabato Asupre has proved to be a crucial complementary tool that could be put into action to provide community-based solutions to the challenges in the lake environment affecting the fisheries where they primarily primarily depend on and then the local fishers could become a reliable source of information in this study the fishermen reported the importance of fishes in the laguna lake implies that the fishes are most commonly captured by them these days are very crucial in their daily lives considering the present importance of fishing activities Fishers shared similar reasons considering their past fishing experiences. For the conclusion, Mabatoa Supre report, fishermen reported that there is less fish now than in their earliest fishing activities. This showed a decline in the catches, which was in accordance to previous lake assessments and scientific literatures that this could be due to several factors, include, including overfishing, aquaculture, fish kill, the introduction of invasive species, decrease of fish habitats, and increased water turbidity. The most commonly reported food preparations for fish species were frying, grilling, sour stew, stewing in vinegar, and cooking with coconut milk, while food preparations such as drying and fish balls are among the least cited uses, but this could become a source of livelihood diversification in the community and the new non-food uses such as bait fertilizer animal feed and fish feed all deserve future attention the fisher's knowledge about the uses in for importance of fish species together with understanding their social profile could reflect the cultural aspects of fishing communities and these are all vital in exploring the diverse knowledge system of data poor and vulnerable lakeshore fishing communities along the Laguna Lake region. The documentation of this diverse knowledge based on their long-term perception about the lake fishery 
could contribute to fill the gap in the knowledge, especially establishing baseline data in the region, starting from one of the vulnerable fishing communities such as Mabato Asupre, Pangil Laguna. This knowledge could be integrated into scientific knowledge and decision-making for future sustainable management of the fisheries in the Laguna Lake, Philippines. Going back to the field for some seconds here, this shows the collaborative attitude of the fishermen, local government units, related agencies up to the regional level towards the study. And this gives a positive sign, which is very exciting for further building bridges between the local communities and science. With this, the fishermen knowledge on fish population particularly regarding the habitat change, serves as a base for further studies in terms of link between the decreasing of fish catch with the loss of fish habitats due to the decline of some aquatic plants such as the locally named Beno, Sintas, and Digman. Here are some of the references used in this presentation. With this, I would like to end the presentation. I would like to share a message for you all after conducting the study that the diverse knowledge from fishermen based on their long-term perception about the Laguna Lake could help in designing of the future sustainable management of fisheries in the region. With this, I would like to thank the following people, institutions, and government offices for all their help and assistance. Thank you very much. And for any questions, I leave here my email address. Thank you.